TLO was popping. We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me. This is Twitch. If you miss a live, you can go right there and replay it. That's the name up there. Just type it in. You don't got to become a member or nothing. You can just watch. Don't forget, we do got Patreon as well. We post Monday through Friday. Uh, we just watched Only Fools and Horses Season 9, Episode 3. We got to go back and watch some specials, and we done with that. So, replacing that with Shameless. Don't forget, merch. Got some of mine on. The link to all of this is down below in the description, man. Let's get to what we came for, man. Hunting the Rolex Rippers? Crime Documentary UK. Let's watch, man. Y'all seen the channel. Things. They're walking down the street with a 20k watch on. There's money in his wrist for me. Oh, I see your grandma with a 40 bag watch off, just chilling on her wrist. So, are you saying you'd steal from a grandma? This game has got no rules. I'm not gonna lie, he just seemingly made that very, very clear. He's taking that. The man didn't want that, he's gonna take that. I'm going to be honest with you. You need to know. I'm going to be honest with you. Hold on. My bad. I'm going to edit that out. Everybody needs to know their location. If you don't know where you're at, if you don't know the demographic of robberies and how it go down in that area, then hey. Oh, oh, oh. So tell me what you guys do. Go past it you are and lick your back. Smash that shit. Would you rob burn? If you got that hold, I'm going to take it. I'll just quickly grab you like that. Bring my shot, man. Card up, no, I don't use. Did you just put a knife in your trousers? No, I didn't. A gun? Yeah. I've got a flipping 30 grand watch and then a deterred area from one higher up. It's a rival gang? Go back to the car. Okay. Area from one higher that a female he with? Yeah. It's a rival gang? Go back to the car. Okay. Court's been told a teenager threatened to cut off the arm of singer Alid Jones when he stole a watch worth thousands of pounds. 16 year old pleaded guilty to robbery. Bro, you gotta. Come on now. You, you try to rob a famous person, Alec Jones, you're probably gonna get caught. Like, what's the ratio of people getting caught when they're doing this? If, if, if they're famous, you, you're. Probably gonna get caught. Let me even lie. And possession of an offensive weapon and will appear at youth courts next month. I was contacted on Instagram by the guy who allegedly robbed Alid Jones. It's a bit surreal because it's the first Ooh. time a criminal has contacted me and said that he wants to share his story. Boy, 16, he's searching for clout. Boy, it's a, it's a dangerous drug. <laughs> Talk to me, though. Hey, you all right? Yeah. Can you send us the address, please? So he's just sent me an address, which is where he lives, and it's round the corner to where we were originally supposed to meet him. Like me personally, man, when I go out the country, I don't care where I'm going, man. It's unfamiliar territory. Even out of my state where I live, like, you know, I live in Florida currently, if I go out of Florida, if I go outside of Chicago, like I'm not, I'm not wearing jewelry like crazy. I ain't doing none of that crazy stuff. 
because I know, I know I'm not oblivious to the rest of the world. People are in situations. It's, it's a needy world out there. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm going out and I'm not going out, out, like to the club or with a bunch of people around, like if I'm just going to brunch, I'm not wearing no jewelry. I'm looking like a stain for somebody. I'm just trying to call him now, but he's not answering. I don't have his number, it's just on Instagram. He seems to have given me a new address, but it's been a few hours now, so just basically hoping that he turns up. Okay, I heard a door shut. I think that might be him. Is that a kangaroo? You good? Yeah. Can you tell me what happened? I felt like I was in a situation where I was desperate. I... Bro, it's public record. We know who you are. Or or do we know who he is? Because he's 16. They can't show his face. I'm pretty sure somebody looked hard enough to... Just felt like I had to get money. So I was walking around in this area where I knew that I would see something. I heard this proper guy. He was looking at some expensive wines or cheeses. He was in a quite well-off shop, and um, I noticed that he was wearing a Rolex. I followed him for a couple minutes, and then he went onto a back road where there was nobody there. He was with his son, but I didn't know it was his son. His son is an 18-year-old guy. He's six foot something. So what I did is that, bro, I just, I just pulled out the shitty on him. How big was that? Roughly 23 inches. 23 inches? Yeah. I told him to take off the watch. He gave it to me. After you robbed him, how did you feel? I didn't really... I'm not even going to lie to you. Somebody walk up to me with a 23-inch machete, you got it. Because like you said, you're desperate. <laughs> you out here moving wild. Okay, I was happy, if anything. Half an hour after I robbed him, when I was going back home, like, the realization hit me that I've just done something crazy, something stupid. I regretted it instantly. I don't feel as bad because he's a one of celebrity. He's probably got 10 more in the safe. So why did you do it? Because I thought I was going to make a lot out of it. I guess when people pull up with weapons and stuff, though, it must scare the victim quite Yeah, of course, of course. They give it up because they're scared. That's why you put out a weapon on them. To scare them. Would you say you regret what you did then? Of course. The only reason we're having this conversation now is... I heard if you pull out the weapon, it's a different charge of if you just act like you got the weapon. So if you just walk up to them and you, like, grab your shirt, like, hey, hey. But if you actually pull it out, it's a whole different charge. I'm... I think one's with, like, intent or something. I want to spread the word is there's a risk to every reward. And what are the consequences? Serious time in prison, that's the consequences. Don't really want to talk about that. I've said everything I wanted to say. Okay. Should we come for a sec? Yeah. That was a bit sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. When we were in the car, it was quite dark. He pulled up his jumper and he had a huge machete on him, so didn't learn his lesson. Didn't feel that comfortable. So it was quite hard to press him on everything. But he seems to have remorse for what he did, and he seems to be saying that he's not gonna do it again, but it's hard to tell really. He's lying. You just you just answered your own question. Bro hopped in with a 23-inch machete, like ready for anything. Thanks to to Come on, man. I got an ad block. Somebody sent me a my boy a tie on There has been a 65% increase in the number of watch thefts in the capital. This report contains violent images you may find disturbing. Moped gangs on London's streets. The mopeds are so fast. They're almost impossible to find. Spencer Matthews has been caught up in a robbery. Pretty scary, bunch of guys on mopeds with big sledgehammers. 
indiscriminately they assault and threaten innocent people. Indi Why bro mask look like it's having a long day? <laughs> his mask is tired of his BS. That's tough. Discriminately, they assault and threaten innocent people with the capital's busiest streets offering them rich pickings. Hi, you okay? I'm sweet, yeah. you're here. So is it just you two that operate together? Yeah. How does it usually work? Go past it in a scooter, a little back, head, whatever the fuck it is, car. Snatch that shit, it's all profit. At the end of the day, you got. There's many ways of going about it, man. It's never walking up and grabbing it. I'd rather go past on my back if I see you, then I'm grabbing it off your wrist, like. And how long have you been doing that for? Like, three, four years. It's a way of life, like, what can I say, like? People got what I ain't got. If I ain't got it, man's gonna take it. Survival the fits, like, well, you're either gonna be a lion or you're gonna be a bitch, like. Be a lion. Survival of the fittest, like, bro, you're either going to be a lion or you're going to. Be... I don't. I really don't think that quote fits this situation. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's not an appropriate quote for this situation. You're gonna be a bitch, man. Well, well, maybe actually. What does she got on? My bad. Has it almost become a bit of an addiction? Uh, you can see it. Bro, is this really London? Like, bro, is outside. Clearly in a mask, like. People don't realize how easy it is, you know what I'm trying to say, until it's done to them. These two fools are like, using a watch, bro. Like, is that really a loss? You know what I'm saying? No, like, that's not a big loss. Why don't you think it's a big It is. If I spend 10 bands on a watch that's going to appreciate with time, it's an investment. I put money into this so it can get more money later in life. Uh... It, it low-key is a big loss. Uh, you run into the right person and pop goes the weasel. You know what I'm saying? Big loss. These people, if they can afford their watches to put them on their arms, then they would be in a good position. Even standing here with you now, you're just naturally clocking people's rests all the time mm. that walk past. I feel like it's almost kind of scary that he's literally just you know, minding his own business, and then something like that could happen so quickly without him even realizing. Yeah, he'll be here. Uh, he's got no idea I'm even watching it right now. Yeah, it's a bit sinister. Well, it's sinister, but I could have survived with you for me. Like, at the end of the day, if I don't do that, what am I gonna do? Doing this is better than selling drugs, in my opinion. Man's not a heartless person, but. That's cap. The charge is worse. Yo, no, you might see a grandma with like a 40 bag watch or something. Just chilling on her wrist. So are you saying you'd steal from a grandma? Because <laughs> that's what you see on... <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. That's not funny, but she just set him up for failure. I mean, his answer is yes. That day, and it's looking like it's, it's good money. That seems a bit ruthless, though, doesn't it? Like, she could have a heart attack or something. This game has got no rules. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not got rules. Followed, threatened, and beaten for their watches. He ripped my Rolex watch off of my wrist. The next thing I just heard, a gunshot. Bro, just, just give it up. No struggle. <laughs> Andrew Dinsmore was robbed at knife point last year by moped thieves wielding an 18-inch machete. Chelsea. 
We were on our way to the cinema, sort of broad daylight. We were walking along the main street, and as we turned down a residential road, man got off the back of the moped, charged towards me, screaming, give me your watch, give me your effing watch, give me your watch. Then I saw the machete. My wife thought it was a terrorist attack. She actually thought I was going to be beheaded like Lee Rigby. She ended up behind a, a hedge out of the way. And you can see... Your wife did the right thing. She was shoot. You a man, let me get up out the way. He ain't coming for me. <laughs> I'm going home to the kids, buddy. That's tough. I would have got a divorce instantly. No, I'm just playing. This is not... Okay, let's be serious. See the size of the blade. He pulls out. Jesus. My wife then starts coming forward. She was expecting potentially to see me in all sorts in a bad of state. state. Yeah. She's very upset. She's trying to come across the road. I'm walking towards her and then you can see. Not gonna lie, his wife one hundred percent did the right thing. As a man, that's what I want my woman to do. Get up out the way. Whether I decide to engage or decide to just give it up. Just get out the way. Do you hear she actually just you only gonna complicate things. Like collapses. Oh gosh. How does it make you feel rewatching that? <laughs> I mean, obviously quite emotional. Um, as much, frankly, just watching my wife's reaction to it as yeah. my own. I mean, I was deeply distressing for her. And how do you think the watch was spotted? At the time, I was wearing a long sleeve jumper. There's basically no way you could have seen it from the road. And the way that they approached us very directly, straight to me, that's why I think it was definitely that they wanted the watch. And the only time it would have been visible was when we were in the restaurant, you know, when I pulled my jumper up and we were eating. Clocked you, waited on you. Thieves have been known to stalk victims and even steal watches to order. They'll wait outside high end restaurants or bars. They know where to find you. That's funny to me. Like, me person, M is a professional watch thief. Like what? Anyway, he runs a team of watch a team and spot and spotters. Okay. I don't respect this, but I I, I get it. He's just on the phone to two of the guys that go on mopeds and steal watches. So is this a watch that you stole recently? This one snapped off the roof. OK, so is it broken? Sort of. If it's broken, I'm guessing that obviously Fix decreases it. the value. You just put a pen in it and it's fixed. Right. Over there. We'll take it to the jewelers. So tell me how much that's worth. Obviously in the shop, I think it's going for about 18, 17, 5. This is a new one as well. Obviously on here, this, um, this is the opposite way. This bit here should be on this side. But right. now the new ones, they have them on the opposite side so you can wear it on your right. With that watch, where exactly would you go? Don't need to go anywhere. It's a phone call away. I've got clientele, so all you need to do is make a phone call. It's 50-50, isn't it? This is 5K each. Yeah. I mean, as a clientele, me personally, as a, like, okay, you got people just trying to flex a little bit, but me personally, I want the, I want the box. I want the paperwork for authentifying it, like knowing it's real. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, it's holding value and it's appreciating. So I want that. <laughs> 5K. Are you guys it. happy with that? I'm complaining for an hour's work. Is it planned or do you just. It's your opportunity and it's worth it. Help is worth it. How would you tell if it was worth it? Is it someone that looks rich? Yeah. Judging the book by its company, should be. They work off of impulse nice and quick and easy when they feel this right, it's right. Mm -hmm. Turn right down 
have like a residential and there's an alleyway where there's some nice restaurants and that. You seem to know all of the back alleys and different streets. Yeah. yeah this Do the, the moped career. kids know all the streets really well as well? Have to. You must be that approach, can't you? So do you coach them? Yeah. In the manager. Like to go, like. They need help running a phone call away. I'm the big guy in this. Manage the block. Are these the sort of areas that you and your lot would hang out in in order to find some watches? Yeah. I see central London. Hey, Siri. Uh-huh? Where is Sexy Fish in London? I found one option. Sexy Fish on Berkeley Square in London, about 4,384 miles to your east, and it gets four stars on TripAdvisor. Is that the one you want? Yeah, thank you. I'm going to stay away from it. Okay. I found this. That's where they outside of, ain't it? <laughs> Not me. There's a lot of rich people around here. Down the side, there's a chauffeuring business, so it's always going to be busy around there. I've seen a, a Rolex Submarino. How expensive is that? It's about 20. Are there prices that you think aren't worth it? Yeah, of course. Anything less than how much? Less than 10 grand. Oh, look, look at these. Little Asian boys. Do they have watches on? Yeah, yeah, but he, he put his hand in his pocket soon as. Some of the people that I've spoken to, mm -hmm. sometimes it's the first time a weapon's ever been pulled at them. Yeah. And it scares them pretty much for life, some of them. Are I'm going to be real with you. I've had eight guns pulled on me. I've been in a shootout. I've been near other shootouts. I'm not saying that. A weapon being pulled on me wouldn't make me give it up. Or would, I don't think it would scare me, but I, I would just give it up. <laughs> Not from fear, just because, like, mm. I'd rather not be unalive. Scared to walk alone at night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does that not make you feel bad? No. That will make me feel bad. It's something I'm doing, then, do you know what I mean? Why am I going to... Start feeling bad and start having morals and whatnot. And things of that nature. So would you say that you're almost a watch expert? I know a bit about watches. Where did you learn that? The environment, the street. Seeing things that I couldn't acquire. Mm -hmm. Watching music videos. Oh, that, that costs 50 grand, OK. Someone's got a, a deposit on a, on a house. A mortgage on their wrist, that, that's crazy. How old were you when you went out and did it for the that first time? That is crazy. 12, 13. OK. 12, 13? Yeah. That feels, like, really young. It was. And that was my environment. That was the only way I, I thought I was going to get it. The Met targeting those taking high-value items on London streets. The criminals are turning to ever more aggressive means. We've been on Oxford Street for about five minutes and I've picked out six watches that are probably over about £20,000 each. What street? So yeah, we've just got a call from our sister car. They've apparently uh, got a gentleman stopped. We've been asked to obviously just come and assist. Is there a chance that this person could be a watch thief? Yeah, there's a, a high possibility. Over there, they spotted someone who was acting a little bit suspicious. When they went up to him, he gave them some fake details, which obviously is a bit of a red flag. It's common, though. Dropped him up there and round the corner. Our suspicion is that he was spotting. I've spotted him. Running look like undercover, undercover officers. That's Following tough. two females off that was side street. And then I can clearly see him looking at a watch and almost crouching down to get a, a look at the face where we've now gone into a bit of darkness. 
there's often watches well over a hundred thousand and this this is a a monthly occurrence. What's the most expensive watch that you've come across that's been stolen? Mm, Richard Milley. Like, it was $2.2 million. No yeah. way. A really rare one-off piece and it was stolen earlier this year. No one's going to have £150,000 in their... I'm not even going to lie. You steal a $2.2 million watch. There's no way you can fence that watch because it's too obvious. If you buy it, if somebody buys that watch off you, like a, like a reputable dealer who's just trying to get low... Cause watches, they're gonna get jammed up. Who do you even sell that to? But they have got it on their wrist, so it, it's easier to steal a watch than it is a car as well. How large is the circle of people that they're working with? This is organised crime, so they're not just coming in and grabbing people's watches off the street. They're doing a surveillance work that then goes to a handler and watches off the street. They're doing did he just dig in his ear? Doing a surveillance work that then goes to a handler and yeah, then potentially out of the country or sold on the black market. Oh, out of the country, okay. All right. 2.2 .2 out of the country, cool. Okay, I get it. I'm on my way to meet a woman who works quite high up the food chain in terms of selling and dealing luxury watches. She describes herself as a reseller and she wants to tell me about how the industry works. Anyone that works or has worked within the industry knows that it's very, very murky, very dirty and full of criminals. They'll get younger people, smaller people, lower down the chain to steal for them. How common is this? It's common all over London, Paris and most of Europe. Say a client wanted an expensive watch, someone would instruct the robbers to go and get that watch for them. Yeah, it's done to order. It seems like a very risky game to play. Why is it worth it for the reseller? Because wouldn't you want to make I mean, I guess there's always clientele, yeah. 18,000 pounds in half an hour for doing absolutely nothing. And is that profit? How much are they paying in order to get the watch? They're paying hardly anything because they're paying probably five. They're just paying attention. 100 to 1,000 for some young kid on the street to steal it for them. And how do you know all of this? Been in the business for about 15 to 20 years. And it's just what you hear, what you see. And that's crazy. Look where she at and look where they at, the ones that's really taking the risk. She out here in the vineyard. <laughs> they out there in the streets. It's just a horrible business. It makes me feel sick. It is literally on comparison to a young kid on the streets being made to sell drugs. No, it don't. You profiting. She's profiting, right? She fencing the stuff. So you've got a couple Rolexes on yeah. you? Yeah, a couple Rolexes. So what are you going to do with those watches now? This one will probably go somewhere, go to a lovely home. And I'll sit on this one for a little while and let the bidding war begin. Feels like it's young kids that are doing it. Do you not feel bad that you're bringing kids into this? Because they're so young. I don't. I don't feel bad. To come to me, you've gone past the point. Do you know what I mean? So you, you've you been doing stuff already or something. So I see it as, like I said, a job. So they're, they're taking it on. What do you do if a new employee? You show them the ropes. So that's helping, yeah. Still Basically, he said, once you get to me, you're not an independent artist anymore. I'm the record label. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna show you how to really get it done. I hope that's what they want to do. I wish them all the success. Do you not think that they have other prospects in life other than this? Listen, everyone needs money, so I don't dive into their prospects in life. I don't care. 
I'm not going to dive in and say, oh, have you read a book today? Or have you done this or done that? I don't care. All I care about is getting these watches and selling the watches, and that's it. When you were younger, did you have anything else that you wanted to do? I was lost, and this just fell into my lap. Why were you lost, if you don't mind me asking? Not really having the guidance and probably wrong influences, looking at the wrong things, looking at lifestyle. So do you think you'll ever stop? Will I ever stop? Mm -hmm. There's a, there will come a point where I'll have to stop, do you know what I mean? Jail? Is it until you make enough money? Is it until someone gets hurt? Is it until you end up in prison? I couldn't really put my finger on it, but for now, this is, this is me. In one part of London, you'll have council flats, and then in the other part of London, you'll have these really lavish restaurants and yes. bars and people in suits and people with 20 grand on their wrist. And for those young kids, they feel like they haven't had anything and they can just go out and take it. He's just gone to go and get a female spotter. It's actually quite not technical. I feel like it's a very, very old way of doing it. You get somebody to find it, spot it for you, then you go get it. That ain't technical. Who is going to tell me how she basically goes out and looks for people and steals her watches? So she looks like she just want to be cool, part of the gang. They probably be taking her back to the band and doing their thing. <laughs> so it's a location, like a bar or a club, anywhere where there's, you know, a certain amount of people that dress good. I'll talk to her, like, guys, I'll see what they're wearing. I'll never be drinking, I'll never be relaxed there. I'll be going to the toilet, you know, dropping the drink there. I'll come back. If they've got something on their wrist that, you know, looks good, then I'll be in communication with So y'all hear that, fellas, if y'all watching this? If you go to London or you go to anywhere and a girl, you never see her take a sip of her drink, stop talking to her. She's trying to set you up, big dog. Go ahead and walk away. Be the air more, you know, one of my guys. And how much do you get paid to do this? It really depends. Sometimes 500 pounds, sometimes a grand, just depends. Do you think that it's needed for a girl to do it in order to yeah, go to these kind of down. affluent areas? I think it's definitely, it helps. If I'm there talking to a guy, he's going to be much more relaxed. We're just having a drink together, flirting. So for him, he's having a good time. For me, obviously, it's not that. It's this kind of business. Don't get backdoored, people. Don't be so stupid. You are not him. Do you ever feel bad when these people's watches get stolen? Because you've obviously spent the whole night talking to them and building some kind of relationship with them? I mean, like, yeah and no, because I do, like, a little bit, but then at the same time, I've got bills to pay. Like, that boy, paranoid, PTSD, he clocking a block, you see him? These guys, they've got more money than they actually know what to do with. Are you getting a bit stressed out? Yeah, there's a couple of guys I don't know. Just lurking around, so I need to get this show on the road and that. Yeah, I get it. Bring my shot, man. Call up more than you, so. Just bring the briefcase. Sorry, what have you got in your hand? What's the briefcase? Something, something, something. It's just a bit shaky around here today. You know what I mean? And I've got expensive watch on, so I'm just looking out for myself. What's in there? I don't understand. Why is it in a briefcase? The little three, four seconds you need to get it up out of there could be costly. Show me. But no, no, no. Is it a weapon? Ma'am, don't be stupid. I don't know. 
So he's just gone round the corner to open up the case. Can you get me, brother? <laughs> so did you just put a knife in your trousers? Mm -mm, I'm getting too much money to have a knife. No, I didn't put a knife in my trousers. Was saying else in my trousers? Saying quicker. A gun? Yeah, something like that. What do you need a gun for, though? A couple weeks came round here and what like, like, flipping 20, 30 grand watchmen in a depraved area. I'm not taking any chances. Is that actually something you would do, though? You would shoot someone? She's not really this oblivious. She's just doing this for the uh, interview. It got to be. No comment. No comment. So I might just have my horse that you can see here, right? Yes. Let me see that. Oh, shit, yeah. Have to protect yourself, you know what I mean, when you're out here. But yeah, no, nah, cool. Are you not good? And they keep it moving. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Cool. <laughs> She's so nervous. Well, thank you. Thank you. You can see the, you get the equipment off of him. Gun coming out of the back of his trousers. Oh, that's the blip. Okay. Yeah, it is what it is. Guys, can we? Is it okay if we go inside? What's going on, sir? Um, like bas basically, it's a rival gang. Um, so he was like, "Can you please hide your cameras quickly because it's going to like kick off." Okay. Um, go back to the car. Okay. Right. Interview over. Basically, they had to get out of there as quickly as possible. Where did y'all park? Guys, get in the car. <laughs> Got to almost no M in a way over these past few weeks. I actually didn't think that he would be capable of that, but he obviously is. It goes to show that obviously... Ma'am, don't be like, don't... Obviously, below all of this kind of, you know, grabbing watches, there's something a lot more sinister going on. Take away from I'll kill you! I'll kill you, motherfucker! Les faits remontent au 25 juillet dernier à Paris. The criminal network dealing in stolen luxury watches. All those held reportedly come from Naples. <laughs> A unique watch was worth about half a million dollars. The thieves got away with a Rolex watch. Hey, Boy, they out there giving it up, man. I do not condone any of this VTube. I'm just here watching, educating myself on the crime that goes around the world, that happens around the world. I'm gone now. Leave a like, comment, subscribe.